Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate the quotients of whole numbers. So here we have an example, 2,786, and it's being divided by 436. So if you did this the long way, it would take more time. This is a really short technique. So the idea is, you want to round each of these numbers to the biggest place value. So here, the 436, the largest place value is the hundreds, so you round it to the nearest hundred. Because this is a 3, we're going to round the full, we're going to round it down. So, okay, so this will be 400 like that. And then um, here, this one will round up to 3,000. So this would be 3,000. Okay, so now we have to take 400 and divide it into 3,000. So what you do is you pretend the zeros are gone. Let me use a different color. So if you remove two zeros from this and you remove two zeros from this, what's left? You're left with 4 going into 30. So you want to think, okay, 4 going into 30. Well, 7 times 4 is 28, so it's roughly 7. So the answer here is about 7. So you just put a 7 here, and that's the answer. It's about 7. So the answer is it's about 7. So it's just an estimation. Let's do another one. It takes a little bit of work. This is a lot harder than uh, estimating products, so it takes more practice. Let's do... 381 being divided into 5,122. So again, the first thing you want to do here uh, is round to the largest place value. So 381 will round up to 400. And the 5,122 will round down to 5,000. Okay, and then you uh, have to think about the zeros. So if we eliminate two zeros from this, we eliminate two zeros from this, what's left? So then we think four, four is left, and then what's left? Four, 50. So how many times does four go into 50? Well, four times 10 is 40, okay? Uh, four times 11 is 44. Four times 12 is 48, so about 12, okay? So the answer here is 12. So the answer here is 12. So the answer is about 12. So again, you just round to um, the largest place value, remove zeros so that this becomes a convenient number, and then think about the new problem, right? Think about your new problem, write your answer down, and that's the answer for your original problem. I hope this video has been helpful.